So here she is, baby ducky, my mini me. <laughs> um, this baby is always called a he and she is a she. And I want y'all to get y'all pronouns right <laughs> before I go and get my people on y'all. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Guys, if you're new and you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell. Make sure you click all so that you could be a part of the notification squad. Also, guys, if you're not a part of my paid channel membership, the link is in the description bar or on the join me button next to the subscribe button. Or you can go to my about me tab and you can join from there. Um, it is $4.99 a month and you do have to be at least 18 years old. I am here with who I call Baby Ducky. Her official name is Dakota um, to go with my theme of places. A lot of my babies are named after places, but I call her Ducky and I just can't get over calling her Ducky. I tried to give her an official name, but Ducky just seemed to stick more than anything. She is the Billy Sculpt by Kathy Romero Viscitti, and she actually is just a cuddle. The Billy Sculpt is just a cuddle head, um, which will soon be in a full body, um, will be a full body silicone. I, I'm thinking newborn size because she is newborn size for me. Um, so it just depends on how she does the body proportions and all that great jazz. Um, but you guys know, I'll let y'all know. But I chose to be a little different and add the Palmer Sculpt hands and feet with her. So that she's a cuddle with the hands and feet, which is, you know, always add a little bit of flavor. This is her, her hand. <laughs> she has one open hand and one closed hand. If I can keep her hand mitts on, you guys have probably seen her in every which way possible. So... But I like her with these bright pink hand mitts on. I don't know why. I just saw them and I was like, ooh, I'm going to put these on with with her uh, little outfit. This uh, One Wish. Is it One Wish? One Wish. One Wish. Does it One Wish or? I don't know what it says. But it says, I think it says Wish. Yeah, Wish. I said one wish, but anyway, it's um uh, from uh, probably Koala Baby, cause it was when we had a Babies R Us, and I bought this along with I have the boy version of it, which the boy version say Dream Big, um, and I've had it for a long time. I don't know about you guys, but I keep stuff for a long period of time. I have a little bit of excess light on her, seem like so. There you go. It's going to probably slide back down, but um, I just was making her look a little washed out, more washed out. But I have took tons of photos of her, so probably by the time you see this video, you've already seen uh, videos. She is, some babies are passive babies, some babies are not. Um, let me see. I can't, the problem is, is I can't see what you guys can see. Um, I have such short window to do videos now. Um, so, funny story. I wanted to see what she would look like if I tried to do a more straight haired uh, instead of the curly hair because my last few babies have had curly hair. And I wanted to give her a very newborn -y look because she has like the little puffy eyes and she just looked very newborn -y to me. So I thought, hmm, let me see if I try something different with her hair. I think Nobi, the baby I did that was I called Nobi, had more straight wavy hair. And I said I wanted to try it because I got to do India's hair and I wasn't sure if I wanted India with straight hair or wavy hair or curly hair and they're kind of similar in paint style um so i was determined to see what she would look like so crazy thing 
instead of spending Christmas break on just relaxing and well I was relaxing for me so for some people work is not relaxing but um, thankfully um, I am able to do something that is relaxing for me for work so um, after before family arrived after family left on both Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then the day after Christmas, I took the whole day and finished rooting her. I spent like 12 hours rooting on the day after Christmas. And I rooted like hours before in the morning on Christmas Eve because I do my grown kids during, you know, gifts on Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day, I do, we do Gabby's gifts um, because, of course, she's going to have like the bulk of the gifts because she's the baby. Um... So, after I had family over for Christmas, I did, um, like, tons of rooting. <laughs> and then I went, I finally went to sleep. Um, it's, I actually, and I also paint, I did paint on a paid order that I have as well. So, um, I did a little painting, but mostly rooting in all fairness and so that's what I do you know I I have talked to other artist friends and they don't a lot of times they started out as a collector and they became artists and they just kind of became more of an artist than a collector and they don't make personal babies for themselves and I didn't want that to be me and I make sure I don't let it be me and so I always you know make time you know, if you work a regular job, you usually get two days off and you get to do whatever you want to do in those two days off. I don't necessarily take two days off, but the days when I do take time off, I spend it on my personal babies. And that's how I kind of try to juggle it. Um, if I'm not out doing, you know, appointments, family things, meetings, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I did with my baby. Um, because her needed her hair and I wanted to see if that would help her become more even more girly I sometimes I, I poof this part up um it kind of pretty much just stay in the same place so mm -hmm. it's not really I don't her hair style don't really deviate too much from that but I'll play with it later but you'll see, like, in some of her pictures, I have it kind of, like, poofed up. But that's all with her. I think every baby have a purpose in my collection. And I'm connected to each one of them for a different reason. Um, I've kind of explained Ducky's little backstory um, in the chat box. But I'll give you guys a little, one little thing is that I got those, um, I put, um, some baby powder scent in her and she smells so great. And like when you take off her clothes, it leaves the scent on her. Let me see. You guys can't even see her probably. Um, it leaves the scent on her clothes and it's like, she's always so baby. Let me turn, I'm gonna turn this around. Um, so I, I love picking her up. I love the way she smells. And it's just, you know, she's just really, really a fun baby to have. She pulls really nice because of the cuddle body. Um, and so, like I said, she got, she does have feet whole feet <laughs> she does have feet which is kind of cool it almost makes them like a, being a partial baby um but I mean it's still not the full leg and stuff but it's pretty cool because if I want to you know her to be sockless and wear uh, sleepers with the foot out it works really what really really nicely but sometimes i like her still with her her feet covered 
and stuff it got so cold in here i was just like oh no we gotta get you warm so i put her on socks and stuff <laughs> and a blanket because I, I like when i go and pick up my babies and they're not like ice cold so that's that um i was a whole video i was watching somebody video and they were talking about the cuddle babies and stuff and it's like it's funny because it almost feel like we as artists are trying to convince people like go buy you a cuddle baby get you a cuddle baby now don't miss out get you a cuddle baby but i don't really want to push people to it because i don't i don't know i don't believe that everybody will enjoy a cuddle baby but i i think for me it's like a collector's dream because i'm very particular about you know my my babies and how i maintain them and i take care of them and there's a lot of like little things that i normally wouldn't put on my babies because i don't want their paint to be compromised like a lot of vibrant bright colors and stuff like reds and blues and with the cuddle babies if i want to and some of them you guys might have not really seen them in the outfits but i i've been able to put them on like jean rompers and stuff like that or jean pants or dark blues and you know stuff like that i haven't had as much time to shop shop but now i'm like kind of like where i normally will be like oh i'm not buying that just automatically because of the color now i'm kind of like yay i could do this um mainly on the ones that don't have the the hands and feet though because i don't have to worry about you know it rubbing across the feet or anything like that but even with them i think you could put on socks but the whole body you don't have to worry about that so i really like it and i've learned how to get around the cloth part i usually put you know like her on some tights or long socks and then whatever her little outfit is kind of meet to it and then it just works um so she still wear like rumpers and shorts and stuff like that so that is that so she's actually taking india's place because india is leaving me and um India is very special and I, I didn't think that I would let India go. Um, but I always don't think I'm going to let one of the babies go. Y'all know how it go. But she came so close to India's painting. I was like, oh, I don't want to have two. And so I decided, you know what? I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to let India go because I have India full body that's going to be in my forever collection um and we're definitely going to know it's in a forever collection because i made gave my word that i would never put that baby out on the market because it's a boo-boo and so i i decided i that i wouldn't sell it so um so she will definitely be in my collection so i'll still have a kit a version of india in here i don't know if i'll paint it the same as india probably not i never try to paint the same baby twice but yeah so just really excited um i just wanted to check in touch bases with you guys uh and that's that's pretty much it i've just been working and trying to you know be a little brave and adventurous and try to do different things. I've been actually enjoying rooting, which is so weird for me. Um, I'm looking forward to rooting India and, you know, Nori and the other Nori and Gigi and all the rest of the babies. So I'm so excited to be able to get to that point. But I'm going to take... I'm going to take proper breaks in between my rooting spells. So after I root these next two babies, I'm going to take a break and just do some painting so that I give my my hands and stuff time to relax. And then I'll, I'll go back on a rooting marathon. And now I'm starting to get a little bit faster at it. So that's the good part. I've learned that if I can get the right hair and the right needle, I can 
I can go a little bit faster. So anyways, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Ducky. Um, let me see if I can stretch Ducky out. So this is the beautiful thing about these cockles. See, she's, she can be as long as, hold on. I'm pull her up a little bit more so you guys can see. See, she can be as long as I want. I can bend her up. I can, um, I can stretch her arms out. <laughs> and when I can turn her over and she can sleep, her little legs just curl up she can pose like so many ways like she's not limited you know, she's got cotton in her head but that's okay we'll, we'll get that out she can do the little baby pose I just straighten her little hair I can take her hands and put it under her like this and then we just I really don't have to use the comb because her hair kind of just goes back in place. But yeah, so she is like this. Now I'm gonna turn her around so you guys can see what she looks like. <laughs> From this angle, it is so cute. I just, I love, I love her so much. Like, I'm telling you, and adding the hair just really put the icing on the cake. Like, wow. <laughs> like, I'm so pumped about her getting her, about getting the full body to paint. Oh my God, I can't wait. Now, she has a little bump in her head, so I made sure I didn't root hair into that bump. So... It's not lint there, it's, she actually has a little bump. So you'll see like in her pictures, sometime it, you'll see like a little bump there, but it, it's, it's, say it's, it's my bump, my bumpy. My mommy gave me a bumpy and I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna take, take away from her bumpy. Let's see, so I'm gonna take the camera down. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys her little bumpy. Let me see if you guys can see it. Do you see it? Wait. You see it? <laughs> you don't see it? Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. It looked like it's going to pop. It's right there. Let me zoom, zoom in. So it looks like it's going to pop. But that's her bump. And she has she has blemishes in her face a little bit that you don't see as much, like in her photos. But that's her. Like and that's the funny thing, the thing that I love. I try to paint in a way that that I can get pretty close up on my babies. And they they still look good, um, cause I cause I like I, w I want to be able for people to see. Like I do a lot of close up pictures, and it's because I want people to have as close as an idea as they can of what they're getting before they get it when they're buying it. But. You know, sometimes, you know, cameras and stuff don't always capture everything perfectly, but I do my best. But anyway, that is it. So we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.